So now we're going to move on to learning about how the cumulative volume delta indicator works. So we're actually going to take a look at both volume delta and cumulative volume delta indicators. And let's uh, bring them on. Volume delta. We have volume delta and we have cumulative volume delta indicators, both uh, part of the platform itself. If you apply these on the daily time frame, they look exactly the same. But uh, if you go to a lower time frame, you will see that they are a bit different. The volume delta indicator simply shows the difference between aggressive buyers and aggressive sellers on a single candle for each single candle for that candle. And the cumulative volume delta it starts to sum up these volume delta candles and you get sort of a picture of the day if the day is uh, has more aggressive bears active or aggressive buyers active now it doesn't always mean that if you have a, a lot of gr aggressiveness on the sell side it doesn't mean that the price will go down and we'll talk about that more uh, in a future video but those are really interesting concepts when things start to diverge so let's just uh, take away the uh, volume delta because it's quite a simplistic indicator and focus on the cumulative volume delta indicator instead so here now we can start to look for maybe divergences and uh, things like that nature. So, uh, for example, here we can see uh, that uh, we have a move up and uh, we can, but it moved up a lot more on the uh, volume delta, cumulative volume delta. So that could be something interesting to think about. And um, you can also see that uh, this indicator resets every day. So I have turned on the session. Uh, these blue lines are the uh, session breaks. So every day you get uh, the start of the day, you get one of these session breaks. And you can see that the indicator resets every day. So if I zoom out, you can see that it resets, resets. Now, if you go into the settings, uh of the indicator you can say that the, you can see that the anchor period is set to one day and that means that it's going to reset every day so this is pretty much made for day trading to spot divergences intraday but you can change it so let's change that to three days and now we can see that it didn't change there uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. So uh, it accumulates for three days now. And we can change it again to something even more drastic. Let's do let's do 12 months. What's going to happen is that you're going to lose a lot of the visual resolution on it because it's now taking uh, the entire all the candles from 12 months back. But I don't actually think we have very detailed data that far back so uh, it's kind of pointless now let's put this back to daily uh, one day and if we go to the daily time frame now you will see that it looks like the volume delta and and this is the explanation why because it accumulates for one day and then it resets so basically it will show exactly the same thing as the um, the volume delta indicator. So that's uh, really something you can play with, but uh, I actually created a better indicator uh, based on this. So if, if we want to were to look for like trends here, a week, it's kind of hard to see, month, do you see any trends? It's very hard to see. So uh, I will soon introduce you to another indicator that will be able to spot trends in the cumulative volume delta on higher time frames. But uh, let's uh, reset this back to uh, day 
one day. And let's talk about the next setting here. So use custom time frame. It's set to one minute by default. This means that you should know that on trading view, we don't have tick data unless you pay crazy money. And tick data is the highest resolution data that you can get basically. And it remembers who was the aggressor of each transaction that took, took place. So um, that gives you very high resolution CVD. Our trading view does not have that. So it sort of estimates the CVD calculation by looking at the one minute candles. And if it's a green candle, it counts that as a positive CVD. And if it's a red candle, it, put, it counts it as a negative CVD count. So that's sort of a fake, um, volume delta if you if you like that becomes more important if you're trading on lower time frames if you're going to trade the one minute time frame on trading view using cvd you probably want to buy tick data or you want to go to another platform probably but if you're going to stay on a bit higher time frames uh, it can still be quite useful and uh, I think the approximation is quite good, actually. I have tested this uh, quite extensively, and uh, on the time frame, higher time frames that I typically uh, am on, I don't have much problems. I don't see a lot of difference. But uh, you can test out yourself. You can change this if you switch to custom time frame. Uh, it goes to. Uh, the time frame that you set here so we can change this to i believe i have access on my on my trade view i have access to one second so now it's going to look at each one second candle and treat that uh, up and down as a cvd which gives me a much better resolution uh, on my cvd but uh, no historical because uh, Trading view does not give me that much history on the one second time frame. So if I go up to the 30 second, I get quite a lot more and I lose a little bit of resolution. And if I set it to, if I turn this off, uh, then uh, yeah, it will select the time frame that um, is depending on the zoom level that I have. So it, it shows that it gives me something uh, quite far back. I have to go very far out before it stops losing it. The CVD is more targeted towards lower time frames, I would say. But um, in the next video, I will introduce you to another indicator.